Hello everyone, it is Mr. Substep, and today we are back. We're going to be skipping around a little bit, going back to the Sun and Moon era of sets, but specifically we're going to be hitting up those McDonald's promos, ranging from the years 2017 to 2019. Now I know you guys may be thinking, wait, you skipped 2016. 2016 wasn't actually released in the United States, as far as I'm aware. I think it was released in Europe, actually. Or was it Australia? I can't remember, but it wasn't released in the United States. And then... There was that lull in uh, 2020, I believe, and then we have the 2021 with the 25th anniversary. A lot of big McDonald's promos. It's probably the biggest year for McDonald's promos to date. So we're going to be doing 2017 and 2019 through 2019. Like always, I'll have some um, links down below to this Google Sheet as well as a playlist containing my value discussions on all the other Sun and Moon sets as well as all the X and Y sets as well as all the Sword and Shield sets up to Darkness Ablaze. And you can also just skip to the graded graded card portion or just like the card discussion in general. I'll have timestamps down below because I usually just go through the spreadsheet at the beginning of every single one of these. But yeah, um, let's let's get started with some administrative stuff. So we have um, all of this information as of 9 May. So pretty much when this video goes up, all this data technically is outdated, but I still think a snapshot is very useful in viewing the collectible portions of stuff. All right, sorry for the interruption. Yeah, so it's it's good for collectability. Uh, we have the 2017 promos came out August 2nd, contains 12 cards. The 2018 promos, 18 October, 12 cards. Oh, I put the set, set total as $12. How awkward is that? Sorry about that interruption, I fixed it. Now it says 12 just for the set total. And then we have 2019 released October 14th, also 12 cards. So starting out with the far left column, we have the card and... That's basically very self-explanatory. If it's in red, it'll be a card that I'm talking about today, and if it's italicized, it's a card that I have in my collection. I do not have any of the McDonald's promos from any of these years. Um, Rarity, very self-explanatory. These are all promos. The raw and TCG player, that's the market price on TCG player rounded down to the nearest dollar. And then I have the grade. I try to find PSA 10s. There was actually some graded cards this time, so that's nice. Um, I try to find PSA 10s. If I can't find PSA 10s, I try to find as close to that as possible, whether it be PSA 9s or other um, grading companies. And even though it's down, it's still the most common. Um, sold price, just the last sold listing on eBay, rounded up to the nearest dollar, not including shipping. Date of sale, when that auction ended or when that listing sold on eBay. And then PSA 10 population, the number on the left is the number of 10s, and the number on the right is the total registered with PSA. Once again, this is only PSA. And then I got some color coordination there. I've added a new color in here for some, you know, unknowns, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So... Starting out, we're going to start out with the Alolan Meowth. I specifically picked the Alolan Meowth because um, Alolan Meowth is in the 2017 and the 2019, which I found interesting. Really nothing else special about the, the data for this card. No 10s. You'll notice that pretty much all the cards within these McDonald's um, sets are very low population in general. Does that make them, you know, super, super expensive, super highly collectible? I mean, to a certain extent, kind of, but... If, if the cards really were, you know, that sought out after, that valuable, you, you would just see more in the population. Um, but granted, if you have tens of some of these, I, I could see them for going a, a pretty penny. Then we move to the Cosmog. I, I like this Cosmog card. $3, only one PSA 10. So I think for all of these sets, it's at least as of right now, there's a lot of cards at PSA, of course, but I don't think anyone can possibly own a full PSA 10 set of any of these, let alone just PSA set in general. But it, I feel like it'd be difficult either way, unless you just got all of them, sent them in, but yeah. Uh, these cards definitely, grading-wise, don't do not do too hot. We have the Cue to Fly, another card that I liked a lot. No 10s out of 5, but still a cute card regardless. And then the Top Dog for 2017, what, what do you know? The Pikachu, ungraded $17, but there's actually three 10s out there. Very nice, yeah. Unfortunately, no recent sold listings for any of these cards PSA-wise. I mean, it makes sense. 2017, like, I don't, I don't know very many people that have hit on 2017 or collect 2017 heavily. And I mean, you have some starters in here, but it's just, yeah, not, nothing really too special. Then we move on to 2018. A little bit more action. A little bit. Uh, we have the Slowpoke. Very, very nice artwork. A lot of these artworks are featured in just regular core sets, and then they add that McDonald's hollow foil, which, I mean, it's a nice hollow foil. It's definitely different. It's unique to McDonald's, but I like the I like the serial hollow slightly better. Slowpoke, there is one PSA 10, but no recent sold listings. The Dratini, this is just one of my favorite artworks. I love this Dratini, and no 10s in this out of 7. 
The Cubone, another really cute one. No 10s out of 7 as well, but this is just a really cute card. And then we actually get to something interesting. So the Eevee and a 9 was listed for 150 and the best offer was accepted. So normally, there's two ways that I go about finding the best offer. You, like, look up the source code of the original, like, listing page, and then you can, like, control F tax exclusive price, and it'll, like, show you what it actually sold out. But eBay made some updates, and you can't use that method anymore. And then there was also a website where if you copied and pasted the name of the listing, it could search it through there. But you can't even do that anymore either. You can only see active listings, not ones that have ended. So... I don't know what eBay did, you know, they're protecting, you know, the buyer and the seller's information, whatever. I mean, it's, you know, within however they, within the rights or whatever they want to do. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to give you guys the actual like sold prices. So I hate it because it's just a massive range because $150 for a PSA 10 EV. There's only one PSA 10 out of 17 and a nine. Could I see this going for that much? No. And a nine in reality, this is, you'll see some of the later cards in 2019, but in reality, I think this might go for like $50 to $75, if I had to guess, in a 9. In a 10, maybe we're talking 100 200 but because these 10s in these cars are so infrequent, it's, it's really hard to say. And then we have the Pikachu, of course. In a 9, it was listed for $975. I highly doubt somebody paid anything close to that. That's why not being able to see the best offer is a little unfortunate. There are five PSA 10s out of 24, which is, that's pretty cool. I would imagine a 9 of this probably sold for a little less than 100 because it is Pikachu and, you know, there's Master Set Pikachu collectors out there. But, yeah, nine seventy five. it's, I saw that price, I was like, whoa, but... There, there's just no way. And I mean, this is this is an okay Pikachu card, not one of my favorites. Moving on to 2019, definitely a lot more going on within this little McDonald's promo set, which is, is quite nice. We're starting out with the Mankey. I thought the Mankey was interesting because 16 have been submitted and zero came back as 10s. Um, very unfortunate. You'll notice a lot of these in a 9 didn't sell for very much. The Mankey, prime example, PSA 9 sold for $17. I mean, depending on when they sent this in, that probably is just making even breaking even if they sold it or like submitted it through bulk or whatever but yeah moving on to the lapras so i thought the lapras was interesting because it sold for about the same price as all the other ones but it was only a seven and there's two tens out of 14 registered with psa and i just thought that was interesting and this this lapras card is pretty good looking i like this lapras card it sounds weird to say good looking but it's you know it's pleasing to the eyes we have the eevee the only one within this set that doesn't have any recent sold graded listings which i found very interesting there is one ten out of 11 and i guess this ev card isn't as popular but looking at the artwork i think it's kind of slept on personally oh wait yes i i personally think this card's kind of slept on so i was thinking of the last ev the last ev is like the iconic one that everybody knows um in 2018 at least like mcdonald's wise but this one in particular i think it's being slept on let me, let me know your thoughts if because I had never even seen this card, and I was like, oh, that's that's a nice card. The Ghastly, the only PSA 10 representative in this video, listed for 247, three PSA 10s out of 12. So this one I, I thought about for a while. Oh, by the way, you'll notice a lot of 7 May sold listings. Somebody had, like, nearly an entire collection of, of this, like, year, and so they all just kind of sold at the same time. So that's why they're all around the same price as well. Um, but this Ghastly, in a 10... For a McDonald's promo, which I, I get is very hard and, you know, just very rare in general. I know it, it, it probably at least sold for over 100 but in the 200 I think that's kind of a stretch. I would guess 100 to 150 for the actual sold price of this, but who knows, you know? Because we don't know the best offer, it could be sold for 25 bucks. you know, you never know. Or for more, but generally it's never for more. And then we have the top dog of all three of these, actually, the Pikachu, um, the highest confirmed selling price and a nine for $66. And it's also the most that's been submitted for graining. This one is one of my favorite Pikachu artworks. It's the one that's featured in Shining Legends. It's just a really nice artwork. Two out of 26 have, or have tens. And yeah, just a nice card. And it's also the most expensive ungraded at $20, which that's, that's pretty impressive for, you know, a card. Like, if you think about it these cards are still really easy to get like i don't know if you guys were able to get any of the 25th anniversary ones like i was able to get i think oh from mcdonald's i think two or four packs or whatever from mcdonald's i mean four happy meals over the span of a couple weeks but they sold out so quick um and i i mean the hobby wasn't nearly as thriving as it was back then so or as it is now so it's i, I feel like a lot of people probably have these cards just sitting around somewhere but yeah 
So moving on to some tidbits over here. I didn't do any averages because I just didn't see any point. You can just kind of look at the numbers and have a good estimate of yourself. But complete set of the 2017 McDonald's promo, so for $32.15. Respectable. I mean, if you look at the numbers of the ungraded listings, that, that adds up fairly well, um, especially getting them all at once. 2018, $35. 2019, $30. And then a booster pack in the 2019 that was French, sold for $15, bucks, so... If I, if I had to guess, I would guess from 2017, one of the packs might go for 2025, 2018, probably around the same thing. And then for 2019, maybe the same, maybe slightly more. But that's, that's just a guess. I'm going to be honest. I know a lot of the packs from even 2021, they don't go for as much as, say, some of the scalpers want them to go for. But I will admit, I did want to get a full set, but then I realized how difficult it was to get the McDonald's cards. I just I opened up a few packs, had my fun, got a few hollows, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much all for these. I just kind of wanted to close the loop of Sun and Moon because I did all the other promos and I did some other, like I did Detective Pikachu, but I didn't do the McDonald's promos. So I'm like, might as well clean that up. I will eventually do, you know, the 25th anniversary promos, you know, way down the line once it's given some time to develop. And since PSA is only accepting, you know, the $300 Super Express or whatever, um, like level it is, but... Yeah, so, I mean, as far as collectability, I would say definitely the Pikachus and all the years are good. The EVs, you can't really go wrong. And then, honestly, if you can get a 10 in any of these cards, I think there's somebody out there that would, you know, pay a decent amount, like, you know, $50 to $100 for a 10. Because it just seems like 10s in these are almost impossible. So, uh, I, I imagine the 25th anniversary ones, are, they're going to be a lot more flooded. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Let me know your guys' thoughts on... McDonald's promos, I get, you know, this isn't the most popular things that people are looking at. I should be doing the X and Y promos and stuff soon, and then eventually Vivid Voltage, a value discussion on that. But uh, my openings have been taking off slightly, so I, who knows? I, I kind of lean towards what what my viewers are watching and liking, so yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If it's your second video of mine, consider subscribing. If you like what you saw, leave a like, and if you don't like what you saw, Leave a dislike or give me some feedback down below on how I can improve. And yeah, I, I appreciate your guys' time so much. And I wish you guys the best of luck in your graded returns.